Thank you, Aki. Delta, good driver sitting here. Mm. We've been taking calls. What we want to do now is uh, talk about this new song, yes. Out of the Blue. Yes. Now, I've been hearing uh, different stories about what it is. Yes. Is it true, the story that, you know, you wrote it because you, you fell in love with Mark out of the blue? It is wasn't that really like that. Right. It's, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I hope people can try and, and disconnect them a little bit and right. sort of listen to the song as a separate um, yep. separate song than, than what I'm exactly talking because about. Because I heard the original, uh, the original title for the song was Out of the Blue. I'm in love with the poo. Really? And the record company said, no, go cut that last bit out. <laughs> no. Uh, I can't not remember true. that being in the song. But <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I only heard it as a I agree. I, it was a good call. I, I said get rid of that. Yeah. <laughs> get rid of that in case things don't go well. Cut the last bit off. Yeah. Now, is this album more about your experiences that you've gone through um, with the treatment, or is it about, uh, which, which is it more so, about falling in love and having, you know, a lovely relationship or about the, the sort of, you know... The, Treatment. It's about everything. I, I really wanted it to be a second diary again. Mm -hmm. And I really felt everyone had been on this journey and I really wanted to talk about it. I think there's so much talk about it behind, like, without me saying saying anything. And I thought this was a real, I find it so much easier to put my thoughts and feelings into my songs. And when I'm in four walls at the piano, having writing and singing, you can be so honest and just um, say everything that you want to say and put it into the songs and, and then put it out there. And yeah. The whole album, it's definitely out of the blue. When you hear that, compared to the rest of the album, it definitely has a different story in it. I think mm. it's a lot darker than what than what um, than the, what it, than what you might people might be feeling at the moment. I would have right? liked to have heard some <coughs> out of the blue <laughs> uh, hardcore uh, grungy right. rock in there. You know what? It's it's the thing is it's a very the album's very big and dramatic. It's a lot more intense. Yeah. But it has those small moments of there's like a song on the album called Fragile where yeah. it's just the piano and I and sitting there and it's exactly what it says it's a fragile song and it's just piano and singing and then there's the there is like these big songs but there's not just there's it's not just about love like coming out and and uh just about being in love or anything like that it's a lot about just life the universe and everything mm. again another perspective so there's lots of new experiences to talk about now yeah. um what about when you hear your song on the radio and you're in the car or something do you Flick over, or do you just turn it on? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Flick over. Well, I'm just over. wondering, do you get sick of hearing it? Um, you know, I actually haven't heard Out of the Blue that much. I really haven't. Oh, I, I, must be, I know it's on, but I do know it's on, but I keep missing it. I think, I swear, I really must be missing it. You mustn't be listening to us, then, because we're flogging that thing to death. <laughs> Sorry. Flogging it. I am. I always listen to you, boys. I know, I know. I get that. You know, Remember, I sometimes text messages saying, I can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> I know, text I know. Text me little quotes. <laughs> text me little notes, and I think, oh, jeez, I better be careful. <laughs> but the girls are sitting in the room listening. <laughs> but do you sort of get, do you still get a buzz when it comes on the radio? I do. I really, yeah. really do. Especially, it's like a new song, and and I mean, it's the first single off something I've been working on for ages, and going, oh, it's on the radio. And yeah. Then, oh, people like it or not? And I mean, I didn't know what else. What other song I would bring out first from this album? You've got to say it's like. Yeah. I have to confront a lot of things straight away, mm. and now we can get into the song, so I just thought that... Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The, 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 uh, the video clip, you're wearing like a $9 million dress or something like that, is that right? That like I green think it's $9 million, oh, because right. otherwise you wouldn't see me running. <laughs> Part of the video. But, but it was a very expensive dress, I heard, and, and, then, and then there you are, laying on the beach, walking through the water in this feather dress. And I, if I was the designer, I'd be at home going, oh my God, I can't <laughs> believe it. it. Do, do, do people not care? Do they think, you know, you you just wrecked that dress because I'm going to get a lot of exposure being on a video clip? Do they think that way? Um, actually, I think... I don't really know what they thought because they were in America and I'm not quite sure what oh, they thought. Right. It's it's your and you left the country. You can just, exactly. say, you can just say, look, we, really, we didn't care. <laughs> we didn't care. The Rasmus in the shadows here at the Kyle and Jeffy Show. We're here with Delta and uh, we've been talking to Delta about a special friend of ours uh, that we know through our website. Yes. Her name is Mia. Jackie, you tell the story. Yeah, Mia, she is um, a young girl. She's about nine years old and uh, she's currently in hospital now. She's just had a bone marrow transplant. She wrote me a letter to give to you to say how much you've been an inspiration to her, as you are, obviously, to a lot of young girls out Thank there you. that go through Can this. I ask you a question? Bone marrow, right, just for people that don't know what it is, when you eat a chicken... Mm -hmm. And you break the the bone in half, and you suck the thing, the stuff out of the middle of the bone. Is that the marrow? Yeah. That's the marrow. What's the stuff inside bones? That's the marrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they've had to get that out of this girl. Yep. And 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 fill it up with what a you what, would know more about something else. Thing. I imagine yeah. like someone else's marrow. Well, we've got her on the phone because uh, she loves you, and uh, she just needs some words of you know inspiration or something like that. I don't know what. Hey, Mia, how are you going? Okay. She's a little nervous. Oh, Mia, She's Mia, Mia, Mia meet Delta, Delta meet Mia. Hi, okay. Mia. Hi. 
how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Good, thank you. Did you write Jackie an email? Yes, I did. I'm glad you did. How are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling better now. Feeling better now? Mia, tell everyone what, what happened to you. What, what have you just been through? I've been through a bone marrow transplant where they put um, stuff into my hip and stuff. <laughs> so they suck out the bad marrow and, <laughs> and fill it up with stuff. like glue or something, do they? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. no. Well, what are they, what are they, no I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what they fill it up with. Yeah, but where do they get the other marrow from? From the family. Like, oh, my relative. from your auntie, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, how did you do that? Did, did everyone draw straws as to who would give the marrow, or did you have to be compatible? You had to be compatible. Yeah. Oh, right. Now, Mia, did you want to, like, ask Delta some questions or talk to her? You've been dying to for so, so many months now. Yeah, but I'm nervous. Oh, okay. I'm nervous. Don't worry, I get okay. nervous all well, the time. You've lost your chance. <laughs> no, leave me. <laughs> Terrible. Go on, Mia. You talk to Delta, Del. Okay. Um, I don't want to upset you, but asking you too many things, so... Um, it's okay. I um, wanted you to talk to me. <laughs> um, were you scared when you went to everything? Yes, I definitely was. Um, but you know what? I really was very lucky to have so much support and... And of course, you know what, and it's okay to be scared sometimes that it's, sometimes it's like, I think it's actually a good thing to be scared because you have to get all that strength and go, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be really strong out of this and all this time right now is going to pass and it'll just be a distant memory one day, but it just takes a little bit of time. Are you scared at the moment? Yeah. Who helped you? Pardon? Who helped you, like, give you strength? Well, my mum did. I think I was, my mum was really, really strong for me and my brother and lots of people out there like you who give me strength. You definitely give me strength because you're such a strong girl and you're going through something that's extremely, it's very hard and you're, you're so young but you've got your whole life ahead of you and you've got so many things that you can think of and sit there and think about and, and dream about and, and you know what, just visualising places, at happy places that you want to go to. Have you learned anything since being sick? I have. I've learnt more than I could ever even ask for. I um I'm learning every single day. I'm learning right this second talking to you and and goodness me. Do you do you learn to appreciate life more? I guess you know. Um, I think so definitely. Yeah. But I I know on, on a personal note, I felt that it, my lesson wasn't. Everyone has different lessons that they that they learn out of it. And mm. I felt um with, when I was going through, I didn't think my lesson was that to take every like to to live life to the fullest every single day or that I took anything for granted because I was never like that anyway. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I think there was deeper ones than that. What were you going to say, sorry, Mia? I learnt that school isn't that bad. Aww. <laughs> you know what? And you realise that, I, you realise, isn't it funny, Mia, that you realise, you know what, you sit there and go, I would just love to walk outside and sit down or even walk and go have a hot chocolate around the corner. Yeah. It's the simplest things you really, you really think, you know what, I would love to just go and and do something just completely normal go for a walk and you know what you'll be able to do that again one day you just have to think really really positive put affirmations all around the walls and 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 listen to music and maybe just read a book if you can or just think about about beautiful things that you want to do and please note when delta was talking about listening to music she was only talking about her own cd or <laughs> our video don't listen to her <laughs> does that help you mia because i know you've been wanting a little bit of inspiration and motivation yeah are you bald mia no. You don't lose your hair now because you've had your bone marrow transplant early enough. Is that right, Mia? Um, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Okay, well, look, uh, look, look. I don't know exactly what what's going on, Mia, like with you right this second, but I just know that, please, like, that, that everything happens for a reason. You know what? Maybe they picked you because you're special and they thought that this girl's going to be a really strong girl when she grows up and and you just have to go through something that maybe isn't 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 that fun but you'll be so much wiser for it when you're the age of 15 you'll know so many more things and you'll appreciate life a lot better yeah that's yeah. what i think now okay, okay. Well, Mia, so you'll be way time. ahead of it people okay well keep, <laughs> keep up uh, the emails Mia, because um even though um i don't read them jackie and mama <laughs> do read them out to me and, and you're just a very wonderful special girl you and are I'm you're a little angel we spoke to you today I don't write you email because I don't like you. <laughs> you see, I told you she was wise. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether they're healthy or non-healthy. We don't discriminate. Why don't you like me? so mean. Mean to who? Mama Jug. Oh, screw Mama Jug. Her <laughs> job is to run around for me. That's what no, her job is. Yes, it is. What do you think she's here for? I don't know. Not yes. the place. She yes, loves you. Mama no, you're Mia. Mia. They're very, very lovely to Mia. And, uh, and Mia, listen, thank you so much. I'm so glad you got to talk to Delta. Yeah, cool.
Yes. Is that you? I, I wish I'd have known what you thought of me. Then it might have been <laughs> a little bit more difficult for you to get through to Delta today. It's me, everybody, uh, and I do wish her well. Regardless, of the child's only young. When she gets older, she'll realise the error of her way. Uh, Delta, nice to talk to you That's again. Uh, you keep too. in touch. Uh, say good day to the family for us. I will do. Best they said love to. Your I'm, birthday's coming up. What are you going to do for that? I can't believe it's my... Um, oh, I remember last time. Yes. yes. How I vomit. Why? I know. Mm -mm. You were sick. It's oh, not let's not go into it. Family... It, it oh, would have been oh, definitely no, something no. your family cooked. <laughs> out of the blue, out of the blue, <laughs> is, is a brand new song for Delta Goodrum, and uh, well, we love you. We think you're great. We'll talk to you again you soon. Too.